This is the story of an average sort of foe who lives in a nice average neighborhood in a nice average town. Every night he comes home to his nice average house. And in due time, he goes to sleep. But suppose that one morning... possible for a neighborhood overnight to become a slum? Well, perhaps not quite. Although, while most of us have been asleep, housing has become our number one social and economic problem. Absolutely. And getting bigger all the time. Oh, it's you. I might have known you had a stake in this. <laughs> a big stake. One of our most profitable fields of operation. And so easy to manage. I just check up. People do all the work. Yes, people think houses take care of themselves, but they don't. Houses left to themselves go to pieces. Well, maybe this kind of thing wouldn't happen if people understood the problem. Wouldn't make the slightest difference. We disagree. Let's go back to the beginning. Suppose we get this fellow out here, educate him a little, and see what happens. What's going on here? Just checking on your house. Who are you? You're the... D -d 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 Relax. I'm not him. I'm just one of his project supervisors. Division of Urban Destruction. What? Urban Destruction. We don't need any destroying around here. Beat it. I don't destroy anything. I just keep track of the schedules. People do the destroying. Did I let that paint peel? Did I crack that step? Did I neglect that rusty drain? What are you talking about? My house is the best in the whole block. Oh, what's the use? Wait a minute. You haven't told him the whole story. Keep talking. Talk's no good. This is a slum. One of my favorite projects. But wait till you see inside. Six people sleep in this one room. Eight in here. Seven in here. Cooking facilities. Plumbing. 32 children in the house, and here is their playground. This is one of your favorites, huh? I can't really claim credit for it. People did it all. Do you remember how this looked 40 years ago when it was a new development called Paradise Gardens? Paradise Gardens? My grandmother and grandfather lived here. Gee, it was a nice neighborhood. They all start nice. What happened? Watch. <laughs> By now, the street wasn't wide enough for the traffic load, so... That's when Grandpa moved out, when the streetcars came. A good many moved out about then. And the neighborhood began to change. Property values went down fast. But landlords found ways to keep up revenues. One-family houses became ten-family houses. Time, poverty, and neglect did the rest. <laughs> Every step of the way, right on schedule, and I didn't lift a finger. What's your interest in all this, anyhow? This kind of neighborhood is fine for our business. <laughs> Juvenile delinquency, alcoholism, crime. Yep, this is a great little neighborhood. Too bad it won't last. Why not? There might be a fire. Why, you... Wait a minute. Is my neighborhood in that book? Sure is. Is my house in it? Yep. You're on my schedule. 
Well, that's one place your schedule's gonna be wrong. Well, well. And this is the day he usually plays golf. What's the matter? Are you surprised? It doesn't mean a thing. One man working by himself, what can he do? Man's got to start somewhere. Let's see, time for the evening paper. Paradise Garden. Most unfortunate. I sent flowers this morning. You hypocrite, you probably started the fire. Why should I? With all that overcrowding and violation of every safety code, it was inevitable. It was not. If I'd known when the fire was going to be, I might have been able to prevent it. Impossible. It's all right here in the book. Everything? Past, present, and future? Everything. Hey! Wait a minute. You said it didn't make any difference whether people knew or not. That's right. I did. But where's he going? He's going to City Hall to report the facts to the city officials. Ridiculous. There's City Hall. There's your boy now. Most of the facts are known to the officials. But what can they do? Their hands are tied. Listen to the mayor. What good is our slum clearance program if we can't prevent disasters like Paradise Gardens? We've got to do something. Do something. Now the expert will tell them what to do. That's the city planner. We're in the same difficulty as every other city in the United States. Slum clearance is not enough. We've got to prevent slums being formed in the first place. A most worthy object. And what's to prevent it? Taxes! Budget! You see? They're balking. Why, even if the planner tells them the exact trouble spots. State Street. South Street. Hogan's Alley. But we mustn't forget the public. I've got some houses on State Street. Just leave us alone. South Street is okay, too. There you have it. There's nothing to be done. Just a minute. The city planner is absolutely right. State Street, South Street. They're both in the book. I can tell you exactly what's going to happen. Baloney, and there's nothing the matter with Hogan's Alley. Hogan's Alley? Holy smokes! Hogan's Alley's the worst of the lot. This afternoon, the chimney's going to fall. Right. This right. afternoon, the chimney's Order. going to fall. Order. 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 Who are you, sir? Where did you get your information? It's all right here. This is the devil's own book. Throw him out, he's crazy. <laughs> Bang! And another crusader bit the dust. Give me back my book. Two o'clock! The chimney! Get everybody out of the building. The chimney's going to fall. Chimney's going to fall in about five minutes. Get the people out of these houses. You better be right, mister. Also on 90 days. Now what do you think you're doing? I'm trying to prevent another disaster. He says the chimney's going to fall down in exactly three minutes. Arrest that man. He's a troublemaker. He says the chimney's going to fall down. It can't fall down. I own it. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. That chimney should have been torn down three years ago. It's as sound as a dollar. I'll stake my life on it. When did you say it was going to fall down? In exactly one minute. <laughs> I'll show you what I think of your prediction.
We've got to prevent things like this happening from now on. But we can't do it without public support. We need a citywide group to study the whole problem. Right. And the time to start it is right now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we need a citizens committee on housing with representatives from every neighborhood in town. All those in favor! Oh. only the beginning. Now things will really start to move. More groups, more organizations joining in. And who do you think is the main spark plug? I know we can win this battle because I know the fellow we've got to lick. You all know what he looks like. There. If your house needs a coat of paint, he's there. If your sidewalk has a crack in it, he's there. Find a leaky roof, he's there. Find a neighborhood without a playground. An overcrowded school, a traffic hazard, a zoning violation, a violation of the building code, the sanitary code. He's in every neighborhood, maybe in your own house. Wherever he is, go get him. So they went after him. Everybody went after him. And when everybody went after him, there was no place he could hide. Hello there. How's everything going? Get out of here. It didn't happen overnight, but things began to get better. your blank blank committees. I've got my book back now. Your book? What good is it now? No good here. But this isn't the only town in America. <laughs> well, they've driven him out of one town, but he may be on his way to your community right now. He may be there already, but you know how to handle him. He can't stand organized groups where people work together. If enough of us work together, we can run him right out of the country.